Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Origami King. In the last episode we completed the battle lab, got the trophies we did to there. Today's episode we're going to be getting more trophies. I'm starting off here on the Eddie River. Because I actually started the episode and um, I completed the Eddie River, except I didn't. I apparently missed a few coins when I thought I got them all, so I had to do it again. But that's actually fine. I'm kind of not too salty about it anymore because I realized I wasn't recording after I went to go look up a tutorial, basically. And I did learn something useful. You can press B to stop the boat with your hammer, and it will take one heart of damage. The game doesn't tell you that. I feel like that's a, uh, a mistake. There's, they should definitely tell you that in your moveset on the bottom, so that's probably developer oversight. Because there's no way otherwise that you would know to press B, because this is a special area. Why would you assume you could use your hammer? Unless you press B by accident. But yeah, I'm going to try and complete the Eddie River Rapids heat right here. And uh, off screen, I got the coin trophy for collecting 300,000 coins. That didn't take very long. It took about an hour, probably, for coin grinding. I, my meter racked over probably two or three times, and I got my coins, and I got that. And then I also went to the purple streamer, battle all the enemies there, and at the beginning of the episode, I showed off the last enemy we needed in the yellow streamer, which was the boot Goomba. He is in the hallway where you get the boot car. Normally, you don't fight him because you can run over enemies with the boot car, but you fight one of the Buzzy Beetles in there, and the boot Goomba will appear. You need to do that to get the trophy for uh, finding all of the origami uh, folded soldier enemies and fighting them all, for, so basically just unlocking them in each area. You gotta fight them in each area to unlock them in the museum. And I got the trophy for that as well. And I actually did go and uh, get my trophies from the museum, because I, I checked to see if I got the Eddie River trophy, I didn't, so I messed up, I think on the very end. But yeah, I could just stop myself there to realign. Which is really nice, it just stops all your speed. Okay, good, I didn't screw that up. Okay, now I just have to do this part. This part's a bit tricky, because of the big whirlpool at the end. Okay, I can use my hammer there to realign. Grab these coins. Okay, good. We got all the coins. I just have to not screw up this last part again. Try to jump at the right time. I got them all. Tell me I got them all, game. Tell me. Because I know I got them all that time. Yeah, uh huh. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh man, I got the trophy. Let's go. First time on screen, too, that I tried it. And I was talking over it as well. When I got it the first time, I wasn't talking. And then I still ended up screwing it up. That time I was talking and I got it. Oh my goodness. The hammer trick is really useful. Because I was stressing before, I, like, if I missed something, I had to hit a wall or hit a rock or something in order to realign myself. Oh yeah, and there we go, we got the notification for it, too. Oh, let's go. Should I go back and show off the boot Goomba? I feel like I probably should. Although, I said where it was, so it's not really a big deal. There we go, Coin Captain. 
Yeah, so now we're only missing four trophies. One of them we're going to get once we get all the collectibles. One of them we're going to get from Shy Guys Finish Last. One of them we're going to get from catching the big cheap cheap and big blooper, which is really easy actually. I thought that would be super hard, not as hard as I thought it was. And then we have win 200 battles. I'm going to have to do that off screen, I think. I don't know. I didn't do this off screen yesterday. I didn't really have time for it. Do we collect the treasure? I don't know why these ones are red, and these ones are not red. But yeah, we're gonna do this, and then probably Shy Guys finish last, or something like that. But yeah, it's actually, like, some things take a long time, but it's not that bad to 100% the game. And get all the trophies. I don't know what, I don't want to go here. I actually want to go to the... Actually, I don't think it makes a difference whether I go from the boat or not. Because when you're going to go to Moon Island, the moon-shaped island, the full full moon island. I was going to say crescent moon, but no, it's full moon. And that's about in the middle of the Great Sea, so it doesn't really matter where we start from. Whether it's the sea tower or the boat. Okay, it is a bit closer to the sea tower, but we can just speed our way over there. It's really weird that when you complete Shy Guys Finish last, and when you fight all of the bosses over again in the battle lab, all you get is a collectible. Those are the two hardest collectibles to get in the game compared to every other collectible, which is weird, because usually when you have to do something hard, you get a trophy instead. I don't know if I mentioned this last time or not, but this is just weird. And really disheartening, honestly. Because I put so much time, like I spent three and a half hours on the last episode. It was just because I had to fight every single boss over again. And what did I get from that? Not a trophy, a collectible. The two trophies I got were actually really easy to get and really fun to get. And they would have been less stressful if I hadn't had to have spent three hours beating every single boss again beforehand. Okay, so this is just RNG. We have to wait for the big thing to spawn. This is a good spot because we can get both cheap cheeps and bloopers here. But you can see one, two, three, four, four, six, seven things spawned. None of them were what we wanted, so we're gonna back out and try again. This is just RNG, just back out, try again, back out, try again, and then you'll eventually get it. Apparently, that's how it works. And it shouldn't take you very long, it should only take us a couple of minutes to do this. Like, less than five minutes, maybe two minutes or so. Yeah, again, this spot is really good because you can get both cheap cheeps and bloopers. Whereas, I believe in the Shogun Studio spot and the spot on Overlook Mountain, you can only get um, blue, uh, cheap cheeps there. Like, you can't get bloopers at all. Is that it? I think that might be it. That's it. That has to be it. Yeah, that's it. That's the legendary blooper. Okay, we got one out of two. Let's go. Yeah, it didn't take, like, a very long amount of time. It did take a couple of minutes. Probably took three, four minutes for it to spawn. So, you're not going to be here for, like, a long time. But you're still going to be here for, like, a decent amount of time. Considering how many times you got to reset this thing. You caught a blooper. Suffering suction cups. It's huge. Blooper size 224 centimeters. New size record recorded. You earn the blooper print. Is that a legendary cheap cheap? It's big. Yo, no way. I got two in a row on the same fishing spot. What? I didn't have to reset? 
You you caught a cheap cheap. It's an even b b b bigger fish. Cheap cheap size two twelve. You size record. You earned cheap cheap print. Yeah. We've earned a bigger blooper and cheap cheap print. That's the legendary blooper and legendary cheap cheap. Right? Game? Game? Come on, game. Come on, game! I have to go double check. Okay. Turns out those two were not the legendary ones. 212 and 224. The legendary ones are bigger. They're 400 meters in size. So... That wasn't quite it, even though those were the biggest things that I've caught yet. And they're half the size of the legendary ones. They looked pretty big, but the legendary ones are very much noticeably bigger, so I have to keep trying. That's it. That is definitely it. Yep, that's it. That's way bigger than before. That only took like three tries. If there we go, the music is different too. You caught a blooper. Calamitous Calamari. It's plain to see. This one rules the great sea. Blooper size 400 centimeters. Yep, there we go. That's a legendary blooper. New size recorded as you earn the blooper print. Let's go. Now we just need the cheap cheap. So that actually that didn't even take very long after I got the smaller ones before. It probably only took like 40 seconds, 45 seconds or something. But it doesn't look like the bit, the legendary cheap cheap is going to spawn, so I'm probably going to have to still re-roll for that. Yeah, okay. I'll keep trying for that. Oh my goodness, there he is. Next one, seriously? Yo, we got him! That's it! That's that's huge. That's definitely the legendary cheap cheap. Yep, it is. You caught a cheap cheap. It's huge! It's the ruler of the great sea. Cheap cheap size 400 centimeters. New size recorded. You earned the cheap cheap print. Yeah, so the blooper print and cheap cheap print, I'll show them off in the museum because I didn't purposely mention them before. But they're there and you have them once you catch a fish. And if you catch a bigger fish, then it updates the print so that the fish on the print is bigger. So basically, we just earned a bigger version of the print. But we've had the print there in the museum the whole time. Because we've caught in cheap sheeps and bloopers before. Fish finder. There we go. This is the cheap cheap print. Oh I'm, s oh, I'm sorry. You must be thinking of our white rabbits in Snowfall Collection. This is just a frame. We're holding the space to display prints of your fishing trophies, cheap cheap bloopers and such. By all means, catch the largest specimen that you can, and we will commemorate them here. Examine Monster of the Great Sea. Size... 400 centimeters location for Moon Island. It'll say the same for the blooper. Monster Fish of the Great Sea, 400 centimeters for Moon Island. All you have left to do now is get the remaining collectibles and battles and Shy Guys finish last. I've only been recording for 30 minutes, but technically, since I wasn't recording before, I've been recording for an hour. So, probably gonna go get some lunch, leave the recording on, because that's not gonna take long. Well, not really lunch, just a snack. And then come back and do Shy Guys Finish Last. Off screen, and then I'll show you guys what it's like to win and get the prize.
We are still missing collectible treasures in Toe Town, which is weird. And I should look up where all the collectible treasures in Toe Town are. So I might do that, but yeah, the next time you guys see me, I'm gonna be done with Shy Guys Finish Last and have acquired that trophy as well. And we're also missing collectible in Bowser's Castle. I don't know where that is. Because I didn't pass over it, because I went back and checked. So I went through the whole area twice, didn't find it, so I'm assuming it's in the ending area. If it's not, I don't know where in the world it is. Oh. Uh. This was supposed to be a giant diorama here for the Origami Festival. Hope we can still use it. Oh, but if we don't, maybe I could set up my living room and just hope everyone kind of forgets about it. So we got this after beating the game, Origami Cranes, so we have Olivia and Ollie. Okay, I didn't notice that. Oh, so we're only missing like one collectible treasure in this area. Which would... Uh... I'm gonna check that. What, what are we missing in Toe Town? Is the museum curator gonna give us something for getting all the trophies or something? We're missing three. One is in, one of them is in Toad Town. We found somewhere in Toad Town. Okay, it's in between these, so. I'm going to assume we can get it now. I saw it. It's in the shop. For once, this shop actually has a collectible for me. I didn't think it would be in here because the shop has never had a collectible in the entire game. But there we go. It's the Peach one. We got the Mario one by giving the hook back. We got the Bowser one by tediously and very difficultly completing all of the boss refights. And then this one we can just straight up buy. There we go, that's all the clickables for Toe Town. We got Princess Peach. Yep. Collectible treasures, all of Toe Town. We'll never use any of these again, because we've collected everything. Although, I guess I'll leave the collectible treasure on until we get the trophy, just so that it dings. Just for the sake of it. Like, why not? But yep, there we go. Red stream 100%. Blue stream 100%, yellow stream 100%, purple stream 100%, green stream are almost 100%. We're missing one here and one here. Two collectible treasures. And I'll see you guys after I complete Shy Guys Finish Last. Come on. Yes! 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 Oh, I have a sudden death. That's not hard. Sudden death is easy. Should be easy. All right, let's give him a hand. You know what you just did? You just completed the perfect game. Congratulations! You did it, yeah! I cheesed it, but I'm happy with that because I actually was able to do this. And it didn't take as long as yesterday took. Just took some skillful jotting down of stuff and paying very close attention. Sudden death! Ooh. Alright, here's how it works. We're gonna play a tune that I know you've heard before. Uh, but we've replaced one key lyric with a question mark symbol. So you'll have to remember what word is missing and then... You'll guide your special assistant Olivia to the correct button. That's right, you! Mario used the arrows to create a route for Olivia to reach the button that's connected to the right lyric. 
Be careful, press the wrong button, and things could go off, if you know what I mean. That's a surefire game over, folks. I don't know if he means an actual game over. I know in uh, Sniff It or Whiff It, if you failed Sudden Death, you did get a game over. For here, if you fail the normal challenge, not even really if you fail, if you screw one up, you can actually exit and then come back in. The game doesn't kill you. I'm assuming screwing this up will kill you and give you a game over. Oh, well, Mario, I hope I can do this. I mean, I know I can do this. But can you do this? Excuse me, Olivia! Here we go. Can I do this? Of course I can. Start up the music. Let's go! Oh, this is a different one. In the tutorial I watched, it was the Fire Elemental. Save that, look at that. Feeling kind of sappy now. It's like I'm super happy now. I'm feeling big and blank. And it must have surely been you. Big and blank. Okay, let's see the answers. I'm feeling big and curlish, no, big and burly, big and swirly, big and early. Burly, it has to be burly. Big and burly. Should I look it up just to be safe? I really don't want to fail this. I really don't. Oh, okay, so there's only three songs. The River Song, the Fire Elemental Song, and the Grand Sappy Song. So the three key words are burly, a flame, and sculler. So I was right, it is burly. Okay. Let's do this. Gotta guide her over to B. Take her up, around, B, Burly. Gonna hit the button, Mario. Hope you're right. And... I didn't screw anything up, right? I didn't screw anything up! Let's go! Let's go! You got it! You cleared the perfect game and sudden death round! Let's go, I am the quiz master of cheese. And now to celebrate your achievement, we'll be sending your quiz master trophy directly to the Musée Champagne in Tow Town. Now without further ado, here's your fabulous prize for clearing the sudden death round. Sudden death cannon, okay. Anyway, come back anytime you like, quiz master. We're always happy to have you. Now then, without further ado, you're headed off to the Spring of Rainbows. Enjoy the Spring's restored powers, and don't soak any longer than I would, ho ho! And that's our show, folks! Let's give it up for Mario one last time! What a great sport! Come back and see us again, won't you? And remember, sail with me now! It's time for... Shut Guys Finish Last! Yo, we actually did that! I'm so happy I was able to complete that. I really didn't want to screw something up at the end. Spring of Rainbows, 100% all collectible treasures! Let's go, baby! Now we just need to get the one from Bowser's Castle. And we got a trophy! do da dee da You've earned... The Quiz Master Trophy! Let's go! Let's go!
Oh, wait a minute. One thing I mentioned in the episode when I did the Spring of Rainbows was that... You shouldn't go straight to the boss fight, because you'll have to complete Shy Guy's Finish Last again if you want to get the, um... Bottomless hole that's down there. That's wrong. I was wrong, actually. Because when I went back into Shy Guy's Finish Last, because I completed it once, they let me go down to the spring without playing the game at all. That's new in Origami King, because in the older games, in Sticker Star and Color Splash, with Snifford or Whiff It, if you wanted to get back to the end, you had to play the game again. Just because you beat it once doesn't mean you could skip to the end. This game is different. I didn't know that. So I assumed actually wrongly, and not only did I screw myself over the first time I went through this, but I gave misinformation at the end there. So apologies for that. You don't have to complete it again. If you want to just go to the Spring Rainbows. I must admit, the speech by the groundskeeper was stirring. Not to worry, we'll recoup the lost fees by doubling the rate at their next visit. Wait, now we have to work? Why did we let them leave? Did we all learn a lesson? I know I learned a lot about sweeping and mopping. I trust you enjoyed our hot springs. Please come again, Mario. Okay, those guys were not there before. I'm assuming they appeared at some point after Kamek's speech. First, I'm going to go check the airship hangar. See if that's where the collectible treasure is. Other than that, I'm actually going to go check the, um... The back room, Bowser's throne, where the green streamer was. The violins in the back remind me of galaxy music. It's so cool. I actually really like this theme a lot. It's very fitting for Bowser's castle. It literally reminds me of galaxy. And this area, this floor area here, this reminds me of, um... Uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. And I love that game. We're heading... We're holding down the fort. How's the battle going? Don't worry, we'll have this plate clean before the Bowser returns, or else we'll clean it later. I'm missing that one collectible. Gotta find that. Yep. Oh, I can't believe they left me behind after everything I've done. I was so excited about the airship that I bought this. Now I don't even want it anymore. You take it. I figured. I knew it! Because I checked the whole castle back to front, did not find a collectible. So I figured I actually had to progress with the story and then come back later. I had to backtrack in order to get this, and I was right. I did have to backtrack in order to get this. So I'm, I'm glad I just let it go in that episode and just was like, okay, I'm going to move on. Forget about it. I'll come back later. It's a good thing I did that. Bowser's airship. 100% collectible treasures. Trophy time? Do da dee da! Got my trophy! Let's go! Okay, I'm gonna make my way back to the green pipe. Make my way back over to the museum. Take a look at my trophies. And then I'm gonna head over to Picnic Road. And battle some Goombas or something. Because I need that 200 battles. I don't know how many battles I've been in. I'm assuming it's close, because there are some episodes where I've done, like, no battles, but I've done all the scripted battles in the game, and I've also done a couple of battles that I accidentally ran into. In the episodes that I did do battles, I'm pretty sure majority of the time it was probably more than 10, and this is episode 28. Yeah, this is episode 28, so because of that, if I did over 10... And in some episodes, I didn't do any battles at all. I should be close to hitting the 200 mark. I wish the game would tell me how many I have remaining. It doesn't, which I think is a real awful thing. The game does not tell you how much you have remaining. Like, I don't know how many battles I have to get in to get my trophy. Which really sucks, because I don't know. Like, it could take a minute, or it could take half an hour. I don't know, and I hate that. I wish the game would tell you. In Color Splash, they did tell you. When the banners that you had there in the square, in Prism Plaza. 
And I actually told you, like, if it was, like, do, let's say, 100 jumps, it would say, like, you did 50 out of 100 jumps or something like that. In Origami King, it doesn't for the trophies. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I've never seen that before, where it just doesn't tell you the progress for the achievements that you're, you've had. It does in, like, Super Mario Odyssey, for example, when you talk to Toadette, if you're supposed to jump a certain number of times, it'll say, you've jumped this many times out of, like, a million or something. There we go, Quiz Master. And Collectible Collector. Yep, just gotta do the battles. This took slightly longer than I thought it would, kind of, or maybe not. I mean, recording yesterday's episode took longer than I thought it would because the battles just took so long. But aside from that, overall, this actually took a pretty decent amount of time to get all of my trophies. You've got deep pockets, plenty of storage space. In other words, you've gotten all possible collectible treasures. Are you a bona fide game show genius or simply a glutton for punishment? Doesn't matter, this trophy is yours. We have to win 200 battles. I've never lost a battle because I've never game over in a battle and I've never ran away in a battle either. So. Here we go, it finally happened! <clears throat> so what I ended up doing was, I fought two enemies here, and picked a grove, then I went up to Overlook Mountain, fought like, six enemies there, so that's eight. And then I actually went to Autumn Mountain, fought my way through there, all the way to the Water Villain I'll destroy, and then I used the Sensory Lab to come back to here, and then I fought another, like, six, or four, four enemies here. Yeah, I fought four enemies here, and then, that one I just defeated was the fourth one, so I just got the uh, trophy right there. So I actually fought, like, if I count the red streamer area, I fought like 12. And I don't know how many I fought in the blue streamer area. Because I went through the grass, fought every single enemy that was in there. Then I came out of that, I fought the Paragoombas, I fought the... The Spinies, and I fought the Cheep Cheeps. Over by the Water, water of Elemental area, so that's like... Five, maybe plus whatever was inside of the grass that might have been like six to eight so I probably fought like 20 something enemies maybe 30 and this is the last trophy battle king you've done it tomorrow you've earned every possible trophy now that I have the complete set I can charge double admission Finally, Musée Champagne will take its rightful place among the most prestigious museums in the world. Whoa, I didn't know you were so niggardly ambitious. It's cute. Oh, well, thank you. We should really both be thanking Morrow. He's the one responsible for making my dream come true. My, my dream of curating the most complete and expensive museum in the world. Yep, and now there's actually going to be toads walking through here. So all that stuff in the museum is from you, right? Wild. You're wondering about this pipe, right? Oh, well, let me... Oh, it's you, Mario. You already know. Where do I even start with this stuff? Is there a guidebook or something? You've really been busy, haven't you? Well, congratulations. You've made our humble collection the very best it can be. Let's check our trophies. There we go, Battle King. You're not one to flee from battles, and it shows. Congratulations on being crowned Battle King. There we go, that's every single trophy in the game. I actually can't believe I did this, and it was kind of fun to do this. Compared to something like Color Splash, where the Rochambeau temples were just not fun to do at all. They were super tedious. These 
So yeah, some of them took a while, and they were kind of stressful to complete. But, like, they weren't tedious, and it, they were all interesting in their own way. So we have Battle King, Coin Collector, Question Blockhead, Fish Finder, Ring Champion, Quiz Master, Shuriken Master, Coin Captain, Speed Ring King, The True Ringer, Art Collector, Origami Toad Collector, Collectible Collector, Origami Aficionado, and Sound Disc Collector. Oh, okay, so these bottom ones are collectors? No, because these two are collectors, but they're up there instead of down here. They could be red, like these ones. I don't know why they're not. I guess for consistency, because it makes a nice pattern here, but... Yeah, that's every single trophy in the game. And that's going to do it for my series of Paper Mario the Origami King. I had a lot of fun playing this game. And as you can see, we've completed every single streamer area in the game 100%. We've gotten all the different accessories. Completed the museum 100%. We completely 100% of the game. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario with Origami King. The last episode of this Let's Play series. What will I do next on the channel? I'm not sure. Probably something to do with Age of Calamity, because I do want to eventually do the DLC for that. I might go back to Galaxy and play Super Luigi Galaxy, because there is a secret level if you beat the full game again as Luigi. Which isn't really a big deal. Like, it's not super special. But I didn't do that. So, if I ever want to play Galaxy again, then I will. And I don't mind, because I love that game a lot. Still want to play Galaxy 2. I want to play Super Mario Odyssey stuff. I still have an Animal Crossing series ongoing. Those videos, they I want to say they take a long time to make. It's more so I just have to work on my island independently. So if I'm not really playing the game, then I can't really make a video because I haven't made any progress with the game. Even if I'm not going to be recording, I still have to play to make progress. So that might take a while. So I still have to do Museum Day and... I have to do the wedding season, and then I have to do the summer season, and then after that, I can get onto the fall stuff, the fall season, and Halloween. So, if I do that soon, then I can catch up with it. However, this is the last day I can record videos. Today is July 29th, because I'm going to be heading off to Ottawa soon for, like, part of my summer vacation. So this is the last time I'll be able to record videos. However, this video is probably going to come out like in September or October, honestly, because right now Color Splash is airing and I've scheduled those as daily videos because I've had a lot backed up. So I really wanted to push those out. But in the end of August, there might be a shortage of videos. And then this series will eventually come sometime in September. So there might be like a maybe a week to three weeks where there's no videos on the channel or at least no main videos. I might still post um, videos on Mario Kart Tour, although those ones aren't very fun to make all the time because I kind of lose interest in the game and I haven't taken a break in, in over a year from playing that game almost daily. I've skipped some days, but yeah, and especially now with the new stuff they added, you basically have to play it daily, super annoying, and the CPU's still annoying, so after I take a break from that game, I'll probably be overjoyed to come back and play it again and start making videos. YouTube shorts on that again. And of course, Kamiko is coming out as well as soon as the Paper Mario Color Splash series is done. Because I, I did that right after I finished that, pretty much. And Age of Calamity. So yeah, Age of Calamity is done. I did Kamiko. I want to do Blossom Tales as well. Color Splash is done. This is it for Origami King. I have to do Galaxy Odyssey and Galaxy 2, finish Animal Crossing. So there's still a lot of stuff to be coming in the future. Hope you guys look forward to that. That's going to do it for this series, Paper Mario the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was kind of a little update there. We completed the game 100%. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode on the channel.